Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new playlist and in this playlist we are going to cover Prisma ORM. I mean it's not an independent playlist we are already talking about Node.js ORM so it's a you can say sub playlist because we have already covered type ORM, SQLize, uh, Next, uh, MongoDB and then Mongoose and now we are going to talk about the Prisma. It's like uh, a new ORM new ORM for the TypeScript Node.js and it is getting very much popular. So let's explore this and we will use this ORM in the microservice. Like uh, we can build the REST API, we can build a GraphQL interface and we will see how Prisma fit in that. Prisma can be integrated with the SQL database, no SQL database. So we can try with the Postgres, we can try with the MongoDB and let's see how it is going to work. So first of all, let's take a look on our agenda, like what all things uh, is on the plan. So we are going to talk about a lot of things here. First of all, we will just talk about the introduction. Then we will see how this Prisma is different from the type ORM, SQLize and all the other different ORMs which I have already covered in the playlist because I have a master playlist which talks about Node.js different ORMs. And recently I have already covered next as a query builder then we will talk about what is the different what is the different things you will see in the Prisma when you do a one application in the type ORM one application in the Prisma how the migration works in the Prisma Prisma CLI how the how we build the schema how we build the models and how we run the migrations and then most importantly we can learn by doing things. So what we will do is, let's say we pick one simple application with the MongoDB and with the Postgres using Express and Nest.js. So you can see these are like four different applications, Express, MongoDB, Prisma, Express, Postgres, Prisma, Nest.js, uh, Prisma, MongoDB, Nest.js, Prisma, uh, Postgres and then same we can do with the GraphQL interface like we can use a Next.js GraphQL or we can use Apollo GraphQL server and then we can see how Prisma uh, fits in that because Prisma is just an ORM layer now you can use either a REST interface or the GraphQL interface the, the objective of using the Prisma is exposing the interface so that exposing the models with the relationships and all like uh, if you are writing a RDBMS like Postgres, MySQL then you will be defining the relationship between the different models and then automatically using the Prisma generate commands we will just generate the migrations. So there are a couple of advantages of using Prisma over other ORMs. There is always pros and cons, right? And Prisma provides a Prisma client through that using that you can actually do a lot of things like seeding the database or I mean it's like there are a lot of advantages of using Prisma that we will talk in the details. Then we can also create a full stack clone app. Let's say not pure full stack clone app. Um, I already have a plan to cover the Uber Eats and the Swiggy clone, Udemy clone with all these new technologies which we are talking about. So we can just talk about next JS application, the React one, N-E-X-T JS application which is using Prisma as a database and exposing the APIs for the uh, server side rendered interface. Okay. So all those things are things are in the, the plan. I'm not going to talk much theoretically because now we can just get into the code right away. We'll just talk about introduction, the just the differences and then start writing the rest API with the express Prisma uh, Express Prisma with simple Postgres or a SQLite like in memory database if you don't even want to use uh, right away the MongoDB or the Postgres we can use SQLite just a simple application then we will uh, start with the Postgres or MongoDB so let's see how it goes I already have this code already available on the github this is the same playlist same github repository where I'm covering okay with next with MongoDB with Prisma with SQLize with type ORM and without ORM okay uh, stay tuned I'm going to add more and more videos in this playlist and one video means one end-to-end -end whole interface whole APIs uh, thanks everyone thanks for watching if you like my videos feel free to subscribe my channel.